Good morning, folks. This is Jared here coming to you, talking to you some, about something a little different today. I want to talk to you about receptors that are in the human body that are part of the endocannabinoid system. Now, a lot of people have no idea what that is, and so I'm going to briefly explain it. Cannabinoid is a part of your body that has receptors called CB1 and CB2. Now, these receptors are part of every human body, and they are responsible for controlling things like uh, pain, mood, um, appetite, things like this. Well, the natural human body and the way people act and the way they live, you know, affects the endocannabinoid system. You know, how much you exercise, how what your diet is, these different types of things. However, a lot of people in this day and age can't live like the human body is meant to. Many years ago, when everybody for the most part, got a decent amount of exercise and things like this. You didn't see the weight problems we have in the U.S. today, and you didn't see a lot of the health problems mentally, physically, that we have. And so I want to talk to you about things that you can do to your body from the external intake that can make you a healthier person. Now people don't understand here that there's, you know, cannabinoids are found in marijuana. There's THC and there's CBD. THC can affect you mentally. It can actually bind up one of the receptors and make it go haywire. Increase your appetite too high. As we all know, you get the munchies. can affect you mentally, you know, send you into moments of anxiety, these different types of things, which aren't good all the time. But a lot of people do like to smoke marijuana. Chills them out, makes them feel good, can even take pain away. This is how the endocannabinoid system is working. These are how the CBD, or the CB receptors in your body, are affecting you. And this is why it can be a good thing. People don't realize that there's something out there other than THC called CBD. This is the second part of marijuana that is actually very good for you. It's the thing that can help as an anti-inflammatory. And let me tell you, since I've started using CBD oil, my life has really changed. It really has. It's taken care of problems that I've been trying to fight for years. One of them being an inflamed prostate. Hey, it's gross to talk about, but I'm just not going to lie to you. I don't like getting up four or five times a night to go to the bathroom. And since I've started using CBD oil, my problems have been solved. And that has been a breakthrough for me. So, everybody needs to realize that these, the, the 2018 hemp, Farm bill is most likely going to be passed and pushed through here by President Trump and legislation. And is what you have to realize is it's going to change the whole world. And it's going to wake people up to something that the government and Big Pharma wanted hidden for the last hundred years. You know, back in the days when marijuana was first introduced here in the U.S. and People were starting to use it regularly. They uh, came out with a smear campaign. I don't know if you remember the movie Reefer Madness. Oh, man, it's terrible. You get addicted to that stuff. And you're going to go home and hit your mom on the head with a frying pan, you know. And uh, it was just a big scare tactic to get everybody worried about it. And uh, I'm not saying that there's not bad things about marijuana. You can turn into a stoner. You can kind of turn into a bum. And that's overuse, that's abuse, just like anything else. Alcohol, whatever you want to talk about. I would always sit here and say for a million years that if anything should be legal of one of those two items, it should be marijuana before alcohol, because marijuana doesn't kill hardly anyone, and 
alcohol kills millions of people, but that's a discussion for a different day. It's so what we're talking today about is the, the fact that hemp, which is the cousin of marijuana, actually has CBD and very, very small trace amounts of THC. So here we got this plant that's going to be legal now in the U.S. And it's going to be legal for um, not only for growth but for resale and people are going to be making these CBD oils. Different companies are going to be mass producing this product and folks it's time for everybody to learn and everybody to jump on board and do what's best for you. You know if you can't exercise and and eat right like you're supposed to, a simple, you know, 10 to 15 drops of this CBD oil under your tongue, or they even have CBD and infused products like drinks, energy drinks, water. You know, there's a company coming out with just plain flavored water that has CBD infused in it. And I'm telling you, it is going to change your life. It is going to change your life. You know, if you're one of these people that can exercise a lot and and your endocannabinoid system is functioning top notch, you, you you may not need it. And I'm not saying everybody does, but there is a vast, I would just say vast majority of the United States, especially in adults, that's going to benefit from this product. I'm talking about your average everyday person like me. I'm talking about people with chronic pain issues. Things like seizures, MS, um, migraines, uh, elderly adults who have things like um, arthritis, things like this that are going to be able to be treated now with a natural product, a product God put on this earth and really has should have been used for the last hundreds of years. It should have been used... It's been treated as a drug, uh, uh, a legal drug, and it's not. Um, the THC part, I can understand if, if you want to make that argument, but the CBD, no, no, sir. And uh, it's, it, it's been a shame. It, it's, it's a sham, uh, you know, from the medical world, from the pharmaceutical world. You get these big pharmaceutical companies. They don't want you to know about C CBD. All these former athletes that are using it are like, oh my gosh, if I would have had this during my playing days, you know, th this would have changed my life. And now it is changing my life because I'm a former athlete and uh, my body's all beat up, but the CBD has changed my life. And it's changed my life personally and it can change your life too. And it's time for people to see that. And I just wanted to share this video with you today. You can research anything that I've said. Look up the CB receptors in your body. Just look it up. It's been known about since like the 90s. But once again, it's slow to bring change because, oh, you're going to be threatening big companies out there. You're going to be threatening these lawmakers and big companies that are profiting from things like opioids and stuff that you don't need. You can use a natural product that is going to make you healthier. And your body is supposed to have this stuff, you know, taken in. If you can't do the physical activities like you used to, the stuff that's supposed to naturally activate your endocannabinoid system, then you need this product. You don't just want it. You really need it, and I could not believe what this has done to my sleep, what it's done to my everyday feeling of my body. The minor aches and pains that I used to have are gone. I'm, you know, 40 years old, and I feel like I'm in my 20s. And uh, I want everybody to get used to a product called CBD because it's coming your way. You're going to start seeing it all over the place, and you're going to be like, what's this? Just refer back to this video, refer back to what you read about it online, and just once again, go anywhere, go on Wikipedia, go on Google, and Google CB receptors in your body, and uh, it's a real thing, and uh, I hope you take these words to heart, because it can really help you. Have a great day, America.